hello, hello everybody. It's Caitlin here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Regardless of your new or old or somewhere in the middle, I am so happy to have you here and so happy that you are here chilling with me today in this fun little journal setup part two slash final flip through slash this is the last setup I'm doing of this journal until I change it, which will inevitably be in a couple months. So here it is, <laughs> this is the video. Today I'm gonna be taking you through this journal setup and how I decorated my covers and inserts for the actual insert flip through of the actual pages I set up. That's gonna be in part one, so make sure to check it out. Today I'm mostly focusing on the decoration and stuff that I kind of added to my journal as I used it throughout the month and kind of slowly decorated it and customized it and made it my own. So that is what we're doing today. I thought I would start this video off by showing you the pen that I keep tucked into the front of my cover. A lot of people ask me about this pen and I totally get why. It's a pretty awesome pen and it's really easy to buy refills for, so I'll link that below if you want to check it out. But before I get into the actual setup and decoration, I thought I would give you a couple of b-roll shots here of how my actual leather cover is looking after one month of use. I thought I would include this footage in case anyone's curious about how the camel cover leather ages over time. And also I just thought this was a cool opportunity to show what it looks like now. So then we could maybe do some fun comparisons later, maybe like a year from now or six months from now and just kind of see how the leather changes and develops. Already within a month, I've seen some minor changes, mostly a couple scratches here and there, but I find the leather of this camel cover has kind of a suede feel. So a lot of the more minor scratches do kind of rub out, so it doesn't have a super worn appearance yet. I imagine it will kind of get shiny with use since this appears to be the trend with traveler's notebooks, but my hands are pretty dry, so my cover hasn't gotten very shiny, but it's definitely developed a little bit of a shine, I think, but we'll see what happens. Just like in the last video, the inside of this notebook in terms of the actual three notebooks I use is the exact same. The first two are my bullet journal, and these are both dot grid inserts. And the last one is my memory journal slash art journal slash creative journal slash visual journal. <laughs> and that is a blank journal insert. All of these are by The Traveler's Company, and I have them in here with the use of a connection band. So instead of talking about every single supplies I use, because I feel like I would just talk your ear off to be honest, I'm gonna include everything linked below, along with a couple notes about what I actually did in the notebook and what I kind of added, like for example, this little vellum kind of nameplate label here. So I'll include some little notes there in case you want to recreate something in your own journal. So I will include that all below, but for the most part, I thought I'd talk briefly about kind of how I approach decorating this notebook and setting it up and my experience with that. When I first bought this notebook, I only bought the leather cover and the three inserts I knew I would most likely use, being the two dot grid notebooks and the one blank notebook. And for these notebooks, I initially went into it with the plan not to decorate it at first and focus on the setup. And then as I finished my setup and started using the notebook, then I thought I would kind of slowly buy things here and there and really set up this notebook very slowly at my own pace and just kind of add things little by little. So I made sure that everything I included either was really functional or just something that was really special to me and I really wanted in my journal and there wasn't any other clutter besides that. So that is what I ended up doing. It took me about a month to finalize this setup. I wasn't working on it every day or laboring over it by any means, but more just really taking my time and taking things slow, which I think really was the key to this setup being something that I feel like I really, really love and was really successful in the sense of me just really liking it and being happy with it. So that is something that I found worked well for me. And I thought I would mention that kind of process to you guys in case you're setting up your own notebook and wondering how I kind of approached my own setup. I definitely would recommend taking it slow. I tend to rush myself. So if anyone else is like that, just enjoy the process and don't get too focused on, you know, getting everything done at once and getting your setup perfect right away. I think the cool thing about Traveler's Notebooks is it's constantly evolving. And I even know with my own setup that 
This will change when I eventually, very far in the future, decide to travel. Maybe then I want to kind of take some inserts out and add a new one for travel journaling and maybe at that point get a zipper insert and throw it in there. So yeah, you can always be changing up your notebook and I think kind of having that mindset of flexibility and change is what makes the Traveler's Notebook such a fun thing to use. So that was kind of my approach to decorating. For the most part, for my decorating, I tried to limit the kind of supplies I used. I mainly stuck to vellum, which you guys know is one of my favorite things to use. I just love the transparent quality it brings. I used a lot of stamps, which I got from a variety of Etsy shops that I'll link below. And I tried to keep my stamping really minimal, especially on inserts like this one, which I know I'm going to be switching out every two months because I tend to fill them up quickly. I feel like that could have been a little confusing. The reason why I fill this insert up quickly is because it includes my monthly and daily logs, so I can only really fit about two to three months in here depending on how much stuff I have going on. So that's why I kept the stamping really minimal on this one, because I will likely have to decorate it every two months. So I want to make sure it's not going to take me like an hour to do and not be something that, you know, feels laborious after a couple of months. I actually will jump in here though and quickly mention what I'm showing you in the video. I was just showing you there the pages I have marked with these brass tabs. In my monthly and daily log, I like to mark pages that are either my current month or are pages that I want to reference quickly. So having like my growth log with a tab is really important because I'm propagating a plant right now and I want to be able to quickly make notes about what's happening with it. One last thing I'll also mention about the kind of decoration going on is the labels right here. So the volume one, volume two labels I have throughout this notebook are essentially in here because I want to make sure that I can archive these easily. So because I approach bullet journaling from a standpoint of having one insert just for permanent collections and future logs and kind of those big yearly spreads, and then having inserts after that just dedicated to monthly and daily logs, I decided that the best way to kind of keep these in order and store these later on would be to mark the permanent collection insert as volume one, and then every insert after that that includes monthly daily logs would be volume two, three, four, five, etc. I just thought then this would be easier to kind of keep them in order when I store them, because I think I'll probably inevitably end up with five or six notebooks total just for 2021. And then also it'll be easy for me to kind of know what's in what notebook monthly wise, and that'll be easier for me to know what is in each notebook if I want to reference anything. So as I'm showing you a couple of things I did in this final blank journal, which is my kind of memory keeping journal, I think I will actually wrap up the video because that is the end of my setup. Besides this little bird stamp I kept on the back, I just love this little spot in my journal. It's probably one of my favorites. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. To all my students going into finals month with me, we got this, good luck. Stay strong and don't forget to sleep. And besides that guys, I am going to sign out. Again, thank you for watching. Drop your questions and comments below if you wanna chat. And yeah, stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. Until the next one, I will see you later. Bye everyone.